Hello friends, 893 days of war between Russia and Ukraine. The situation all along the border is very volatile as far as deep inside both the countries due to interdiction missions and rising war of attrition. The situation in Middle East, that is because of Israel-Palestine war, is no different and likely to escalate further because we are expecting retaliation from the Iran after assassination of Ismail Haniye in Iran by the Israeli forces. In southern war zone on Kharsov front, no significant changes as the battle between the two army continues. As far as Ukrainians are concerned, they are using lots of UAVs and long-range missiles to prevent Russians throwing them out of eastern bank of Dnieper river. Zaporizhia front inside and north of Rabatino as well as northwest of Barbu positional battle continues. No changes in Rimivki salient as well where again long and medium range artillery and UAVs are being used as part of positional battle. Coming to east, there has not been many changes in last 24 hours so. The situation is that highway starting from Ugledar to Stantinovka has been cut off by the advance of Russian army. While in west of Marinka, there are no changes and in north, Krasnogorovka or Krasnohorivka the Russian army has taken over the maximum part of it. However, Ukrainians' small detachment continues in the outer part of the village. Odivka again, Russians have made many advances like 500 meters towards and in Zeleny, 200 meters towards Lishikni and also from eastern outskirts of this village. 400 meters southwest of Novoselivka first towards Mezevo and another 200 meters in Ivanovka. In north of Divka, Russians entered Serezivka from southeast and advanced towards Zelenyoy. Tourists also Russians maintain their momentum. They advance 100 meters towards Pantilimonivka. 100 meters towards Alexandrovka and close to 400 meters in Zalizny. As far as New York is concerned, counterattacks from both sides continuing. In both Odivka and Torresk regions, the Russians' offensive operation continues and they have taken the lead and initiative. The Ukrainians are trying desperately to stop forward advance of Russian army and most likely their hope relies on UAVs and forthcoming F-16s. Bakhmut Chasivya Russians are continuously advancing in Kleshivka though at very small pace and now they gained 100 meters. Also Russians have crossed outskirts of Sivas Donets Donbass Canal and assaulting Uktya Briski micro district. They made some more gains into Kalinivka and especially its western bank of the Vilas. Siversk sector, which is north of Soledar, the Russians have advanced on. Perizdonoi from Razdolovka almost a kilometer. This is a good gain. But in other part of Siversky, no significant changes have taken place. Northeast Ukraine in Serebriansky forestry, no significant changes while Russians advanced further from Makyuka where they had managed good gains in Liman Kremina sector. Further up, 
Kupian Swato direction, positional battle taking place. North of Kharkov, heavy battle continues. That is towards Slobozansky direction in Vovachansk as well as around Lipsty, where counter attacks continuing from both the sides for Glybok. However, no significant changes have taken place. Interdiction missions, as I said in the beginning itself, is quite heavy from both the sides using UAVs, long and medium range missiles as well as artillery. And because of that, war of attrition is pretty high, not going into the details today. Palestine, Israel, Middle East. Situation is very tensed as far as Gaza is concerned. The ground offensive and even air strikes and artillery uses by the IDF is at low level. Nonetheless, with the Lebanon border, it is continuing while Hezbollah is launching rockets in waves. As far as Red Sea is concerned, not many news have been coming and all eyes are on Iranians who have refused to talk anything from the Western diplomats and even from the Arab League and Middle East nations who have been talking on behalf of Israel. In the meantime, Israeli delegation have reached Cairo for talk on ceasefire and hostage deal. However, it is clear hypocrisy. Otherwise, they would not have assassinated Hamas chief and second in command of Hezbollah. USA has been amassing forces along with its allies in Middle East, almost a dozen of warships, various air defense system in its Arab countries' bases, not only in Israel but elsewhere, like in Syria, Iraq and other places to counter any escalation of war. Well, I have gone in little detail today to let you know how the situation is prevailing. And that brings an end to my talk today. Thanks.